Welcome back to Bright Ideas from Acuity Brands on Industrial Sage. Today, an executive spotlight. I'm joined by Brad Pitched, who is the National Category Manager from Graybar. Welcome, Brad. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Catherine. Really excited about it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, Brad, you spent 20 years in the lighting industry, right? Can you tell me a little bit about how you got your start? Yeah, so uh, I was I was going to school to be an electrical engineer, and uh, one day one of my friends came up to me and said that he was going to go on an interview. Uh, basically, it was like an internship, sort mm -hmm. of a, a part-time work, and so uh, through uh, through a variety of reasons, I decided, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, you know, I'll try that out and see what happens. And uh, so I went to the interview and, and uh, they, they talked to me about how they were going to, they, they work with architects and engineers on a regular basis. I said, you know, that makes sense. That's something I'd really like to try. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, after about a, a, an, a, an hour interview and then about another hour of training, uh, they handed me a catalog and said, here, go sell something. <laughs> here, go, just go out into the world. <laughs> About it. Exactly. So, so spending your whole career in the same industry, you get to see a lot of changes. Can you tell us a little bit about that evolution of the industry? Yeah, you know, it's it's changed dramatically since I started off, you know, really from a from a technical standpoint and really from from a business standpoint. You know, we, we used to I, I used to joke with people and say that I was there whenever they were using torches to, <laughs> to light the way. And you know, we've, we've gone from incandescent to fluorescent and HID back to fluorescent, now LED. And, you know, one of the great things about all of the changes is, is that with LED and the, and the lighting controls, you know, now we can do some of those things that we'd only really dreamed of doing in the past. But really, probably the biggest change that I, I've seen is, is the way that business works. You know, whenever we first started, it was it was very much a you know, a, a, a relationship business and one where you would maybe even go out for drinks at noon and different things like that. And, you know, it's changed today. Really, it's it's still a relationship business, but it's very fast paced. Mm -hmm. and you have to be able to evolve and change. And if you're, you're not able to do that, you know, we're dealing with not just the old school people, but a lot of people coming into the industry. Right. So tell me a little bit more about those challenges. How have those changes challenged you and your team? What have you done there to adapt? You know, that's a great question. And that's one of the things that we're always trying to make sure we stay on top of. Um, you know, uh, lighting has changed, business has changed. And, and because of that, we have to continually find new ways to, to be relevant. Mm -hmm. You know, being a distributor is one of those things where often people tend to pigeonhole us as not being you know, the experts on lighting or really they're not sure where we exactly fit in the in the in, in the chain. And that's where we really are, are at Grave are really very focused on trying to be a, a, a solution add. We're a big mm -hmm. part of the, of the overall process. So, you know, those challenges are is that we're really trying to stay relevant and make sure that that our customers understand that we're a resource for them. And likewise, we're, we're working those communications. We're talking to people about better ways to do different things. And we're trying to evolve and become more and more uh, efficient with what we do. And part of, you know, staying relevant, uh, you indicated a lot of different technology changes, a lot about innovation and new products. How would you sell a new innovative product to a customer today? Well, Graber is constantly working with, with our key suppliers like Acuity. Acuity is a great partner for us. They provide us with, with technical information, training. Um, we, we work together and, and build uh, marketing collateral together. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, that's one of the things that's really uh, exciting for me in the, in the role that I'm at is, is that whenever we have you know, you have a, a Acuity has a new product that comes out. We're able to really get excited and generate a lot of enthusiasm with our team. And we collaborate together and come up with different ways to to market it, whether it's to our industrial group or, you know, our, our commercial groups, whoever that might be. So really, you know, being very innovative uh, and, and looking at different ways to present is, is something we're, we, we, we pride ourselves on. With, with COVID, it's been obviously a lot more difficult. It's been mm -hmm. a lot more challenging to try to, to do that because we don't have that one-to-one -one or that personal relationship where we can sit down and talk to people 
um, still kind of stuck with Zoom and other things like that. Right, right. Yeah, 2020 has definitely been uh, a chaotic year. We're all doing business a little bit differently. But what are some of the go-to methods that you've you've adapted and, and started started employing um, as you're trying to satisfy the customer and, and keep that relationship strong? You know, one of the one of the things that I've always enjoyed, I, I learned this early in my career, and it's something that I try to share with all of my new sales reps. Um, I, I'm from St. Louis. I've I've been here for you know for a long time, and uh, St. Louis has got this beer company that uh, they make a lot of beer and. So one day they came out with this com- this this uh, new beer called Bud Light, <laughs> and uh, Bud Light was something that was really not the first on the market for a light beer. There was another company that was out there selling Miller Lights, and Miller Light was one that um, they were kind of in that old school way of doing their their marketing. You know, less filling, tastes great, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they were the best at at taste and and lowest calories. Well, Anheuser-Busch decided that they were going to change the equation. Instead of being less filling and taste greater, <laughs> uh, they Just decided. As good. <laughs> yes, they decided that they were going to be the funner company. They were going to be the the beer that everybody enjoyed drinking. Uh, they brought you know dogs as spokesmodels. They brought a variety of different fun things into the equation. And then they saw their sales go through the roof. My, my point to all of this is it's a great story, but what it means is, is that they didn't take and try to be better at what their competitor was doing. They tried to change the equation to be better at what they do. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things that I try to explain to our salespeople often is that you need to be better at what you do and not look at what they do, but, but be a better, better you. That is great advice. So, and then on a personal note in your career, is there any advice that other advice that you would have to someone coming up in the lighting industry? You know, I, uh, I've, I've been around for a while and, and, and worked uh, for, for my father for 20 years and then, you know, in the industry. And, and one of the things that I, I try to apply often is, is time management, but most importantly, really understanding that you cannot you can't let failure stop you. You have to continually work to find new ways to get better and improve. Even when you fail, you can learn something from it. And so one of the favorite things that my father used to kind of give me grief over was, is like if we were working on a piece of equipment, a tractor or something like that, and I'd tell him, well, I couldn't, you know, the bolt was was stuck or something was broke or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, his comment to me was always, well, we can't throw it away. We have to find a way to fix it. And that would be probably my biggest advice to anybody is, is you need to find a way to fix it. If you're if something you don't like, something is broke, find a way to fix it. Really great advice. Brad, thank you so much for giving us some time today. Appreciate you sharing a bit of your story. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Next time on Bright Ideas, we will chat about equality, diversity, and inclusion programs and ideas for your business.